Today on FPV 101, we're going to be talking about beta flight. If you want to build your own quad, or even if you're looking to pilot a higher end bind and fly drone, then at some point, you're going to need to talk to the drone's flight controller. This is done via flight controller software installed on your personal computer. Here at DRL, we use beta flight because it's primarily focused on getting the most speed and best performance out of a quadcopter like the Racer 4. Flight controller software like Betaflight is used for a wide variety of reasons, and we'll delve deeper into it in later episodes, but it's also a necessary tool for keeping your drone's flight controller firmware up to date. Updating your flight controller's firmware is essential to ensuring your drone flies as smoothly and safely as possible. These updates fix bugs on a wide range of issues, from flight inputs, to battery management, to stabilization, and everything in between. So if you want to make sure your drone gets in the air and stays in the air, it's important to get into the habit of looking for and applying these updates. You can get started by downloading the latest version of Betaflight for your computer-specific operating system. Software like Betaflight Configurator is open source and free to use. Depending on your computer, you may have to download additional drivers so that the application functions properly on your machine. With your software downloaded and installed, you can now connect your flight controller to your computer using a micro or mini USB. It is crucial that before plugging in your drone, you remove its propellers. Not doing so, you risk severely damaging your drone, your workspace, or most importantly, yourself, especially if you're planning on plugging in a battery. Updating firmware, however, does not require battery power for most flight controllers, so for now, keep your LiPo unplugged. Connecting for the first time can often be the most difficult, so if you run into any trouble, make sure again that you're running the necessary drivers. If you're still having trouble, you may want to check your cable connection or use a different USB cable or computer port. When the flight controller is properly connected to the computer, you'll hear an audio notification, like this. From here, you can finally start using the program to configure your drone with your own personal flying preferences. Make sure to join us next time on FPV 101 when we dive deeper into the basics of drone tuning.